Hi, this is Paul Gabry with another episode of Ask ZBrush. All right, so the question that came in was within the tool palette and in polygroups, what does regroup by edges do? So I've got a couple models over here. So there's a simple cube and another cube with some just design element in here a little bit. So I'm gonna click on regroup by edges and you'll see that we now have two polygroups. We've got a green and we've got this pink. Now notice what the, where the pink is actually located on both of these models. Quickly, let's just look at this cube first. So what this button is doing is analyzing the surface and finding when an edge is being defined by faces that have a angle change, i.e. there are these normal faces facing this direction and then there's these normals facing this direction. So it is finding that the edges along this side have a change here along the edge. So what it's going to do is create a polygroup from this edge out. So that's what this button does. And if you look at this example, you can see this in multiple locations where it's finding an edge and an edge here on the bottom as well and creating a polygroup from this edge out based upon that change in plane that is happening here. And that is what the button regroup by edges does found in your tool polygroup menu. Thank you for watching this video and please continue to send your questions in to us through Twitter with the hashtag ask ZBrush. Again, just send a question in through Twitter with hashtag ask ZBrush. Thank you again for watching this video. Have a great day and happy ZBrushing.